Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I'm gonna explain to you how to create a vocabulary notebook and dictionary skills quizzes for your students on Blackboard. We're talking here BRP. Uh, these are the, the list of codes that I have here. And uh, you need to be careful about which code that you're teaching, okay? Uh, the code, be, pay attention to the code and sometimes to the to the major. For example, like here we have ESC, ECE002, major is like IT, computer science and IT, okay? Uh, EHS, it's like for Arabic, Sharia and law, and so on and so forth, okay? So I have made the quizzes, the quizzes are ready made, okay? And, uh, you know, I uploaded them on uh, Google Drive. And here we have a list of uh, links for each, for each quiz, okay? According to the code that you're teaching, okay? You be careful to choose which code that you're teaching, okay? Now, in my case, I teach ESC002, okay? I'm gonna click on, I'm gonna choose this one. Either you copy this one, you click on Control, uh press press and hold on control and then click with left click on this one or like pay like simply speaking you can copy it okay and go to uh uh you know your browser internet browser and paste it click enter as you can see here this is the package. It's ready-made. Uh, I have prepared them for you. What you need to do, before you download it, make sure that you have the correct package according to the code that you're teaching, okay? If you have like your mouse, your mouse cursor on the title here, as you can see, it says ESC002 Vocabulary Notebook. Yeah, that's the one. Now you need to download it on your uh onto your onto your computer or laptop so you come to this one click on it and it's downloaded again you click on this icon here where you have the arrow the down arrow okay and then you'll have it downloaded on your computer okay the next step you need to locate the uh, package on your computer okay show in folder have it, I have it right here, okay? Now go to your uh, Blackboard account and then scroll down. This is very important. Now we come to the important part, okay? Scroll down to Course Tools. Click on Course Tools. Scroll down. Choose Tests, Surveys, and Pools. Click on it, and from tests, here, click on tests. After clicking on tests, there is something called import test. Click on it. After that, click on browse local files. Click on it. Choose where you have the downloaded package. I downloaded it and it's in the downloads folder. It's right here. Okay, choose this one and then click on open. After that, click on submit. As you can see here, it says that the operation import has completed. Okay, you can click on OK or you can go to al ikhtibarat right away, whatever you like. Okay, for me, I'll go to al ikhtibarat right away, where I'm going to create the uh, the test or the quiz. Okay, so uh, if you have your menu in Arabic, it's called tests or assessment, whatever you call it. Okay, so it's like in al ikhtibarat you need to create it in al ikhtibarat uh, tab. Okay, or tests. Click on al ikhtibarat this is where we have, you know, the tests and quizzes. After you click on Al-Khtibarat, 
you go uh, to assessments and click on test. Okay, as you can see, it's ready. It's already there, existing test. Okay, choose it, choose this one and click on submit. Now you have everything ready here. What do you need to do? You need to focus on the settings now. Okay, this is the important part. What are the settings? Okay, so the settings, this is for module one. I'm talking like now the second semester, 2021. Okay, module one. Okay, so stick to these settings. Okay, no need to worry about any other settings. Just follow the same settings, you know, to the, yeah, be like, be to the letter. Make available to students, yes. And new announcements for the test, yes. Multiple attempts, choose this one, tick it. And then leave it as it is, allow unlimited attempts. Okay, scroll down. Last graded attempt, scroll down and choose from here, highest grade, choose highest grade. Again, from here, choose highest grade. Okay, go down, display after, keep display after as it is, do not change it. In my case, I have it like this now, this is like the, the time of creating this video. Display until you change it to 18th of February. Again, 18th of February. Okay, and the time, end of day, which means 11.59 p.m. Okay, that's it. That's everything that you need to worry about. And everything that after that, click on submit. As you can see, it's right here. If you want to see, like you know, the 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 test, how it is, like you know, the 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 questions and everything, I'm gonna show it to you very quickly. Then you click on begin, okay? After that, you click on begin, and then you can start. This is for the students, of course.